Hi everyone. Today I'm teaching you how to make your own raw unfiltered cider vinegar. So it is a delicious and very nutritious, very the best for optimal health. Needed for your diet daily, a shot a day, even two shots. I don't know, some people may take a quarter cup, I'm not sure. Depending on your weight, I'm sure it has to do with your diet, uh, medical needs. But what I've done is I did put some tape just to keep it somewhat out of this direct sun. And I do store it on a shelf. So again, it's not sitting directly in any sun anyway. But what I did is when the dandelions were ample and in season, I picked a bunch of dandelion heads. I took some grapes, cut them into halves, and slightly crushed them, along with some raisins. Right? Don't come for me. It's my recipe. I also had some carrot ginger turmeric juice, which it would have been nice if it was just the carrot ginger, but the turmeric was a little overpowering for me. I did not want to waste it, so that was somewhat half part of my liquid um, that I put and then put some water but uh, I also did buy some ginger in bulk and so what I did is I cheated and made some ginger carrot turmeric dandelion cider vinegar and how I cheated is that I did have for about mm, like a half a bottle. I don't know. Maybe it was up to this much. I'm not sure. Maybe it was only this much. But there was some left and I put that in the batch as well. Kind of almost as though you would with a yeast when you're making bread. That yeast that's like that thousand year old yeast or uh, bread or whatever they call it. Anyways. This is so healthy, so nutritional for you. Now imagine learning and how to make it on your own. So what you're going to do is put the ingredients in. You're going to put it in a spot. And for uh, about a week to seven, I meant um, five to seven days, you're going to leave your dandelions, ginger in the water in the concentrate again I put some of this in right away so that kind of started the process of the fermentation oh yes and I did put the raisins and the dry raisins as well as grapes um but yeah so and then once that was getting happy I then diluted it and added this amount and so I poured it in and then the liquids that were in there, I poured it back into here and added a little bit more water. But next thing you knew, when I had these two full, I ended up putting the uh, a strainer and strained a big bulk of the, the product out. Like the stuff, whatever you were of, of use. I used dandelion heads and the raisins and ginger. Oh my God, guys, it smells so good. So how I know that it's still active and still like fermenting and not to drink it yet is that I did just move it around. So I did shake it, shake it up. But as you can see, there is stuff at the bottom and that's going to settle and you want that to settle and stay to the bottom you don't want to keep agitating it so now it's as though i'm starting over starting the process of sorts over of it fermenting so now once this clears it's kind of clear and not foggy or a a look like it's a, a colloidal a colloidal uh, mix because it's it's, it's not going down this quick um yeah once that has cleared then you have you're gonna leave it like that for there about three weeks to a month yep 
But what you are going to do every few days or so is simply turn it. Don't shake it. Just turn it. So I would just turn it like that. Then so anything that's kind of sitting on here will make its way down. All the little, the bigger pieces, all the tiny fine particles that attach to the larger pieces will make it fall down to the bottom. And that eventually, this is what I did today, is that I, whatever the scum, the schmuck that was at the bottom of this, I just took off the top, almost like you would as, um, doing a racking with wine. I did take a bulk of the stuff off, again, because I'm dealing with fresh product, fresh uh, stuff, so you do not want to keep, you know, those dandelion heads or any of the scrapings, anything that came from the um, ginger and so forth. That all has to come out. But later on, you are going to have a tiny bit of the, the yeast or the byproduct at the bottom. That's fine. But for now, you're going to kind of keep racking this. So I'm going to close this just to a degree that it closes. I'm not going to tighten it. So you, that's what I do. Some people, they say to leave it completely, like, unloosen up, but I don't do that. So, I'm just going to do that. Make sure there's any... This was damp a little bit. I didn't want it too wet. You don't want it to be dirty or wet. So, I'm just going to close that just so that it's finger tight. Shout. Ah, 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 ah. I'm dang well almost making a mess here that almost fell. Which I don't want. So whoa. I'm gonna put this back in its spot. Put it out of sight of sorts, not really, but you could even put it in your closet, your cupboard. And um this is a not a pantry but a my sunroom, so it gets nice and warm in here. My rental of a house where I have a sunroom, so I've been taking advantage of the space, doing different things. Had I known, I would have brought my carboy and actually started making wine through the winter when I kind of had nothing to do of sorts, but mm, I don't know how strong I was either. But, yeah, because the sink I could or would have used is actually in the basement. But make your fresh cider vinegar, people, and cheat. Put a little bit of this si uh, apple cider vinegar in. It's okay. It, I won't tell. Oh, my God. I want to drink some right now. Actually, I forgot I did want to have a taste of it so let's do that where is there is no clean dishes because I don't have any dishes anymore so I am okay I found a, a glass and rinsed it real quick because I don't want to try and stick it in here but what will happen is there will be some schmuck that will come off it. So, uh, not schmuck, but the stuff that's inside here. So let me turn this off a second so you can see. Okay, so I made a mess pouring some. I had to clean that up real quick. Now I'll have to wipe this down because you don't want any thing where fruit flies or something be attracted come around and start pocket bugging it mucking it around so i know you're gonna think don't drink it like that i don't mind i am going to drink it like this mm, it smells so delicious guys this is not complete yet but it is not at all gonna hurt you drinking it these are dandelion heads
mm, it's very 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 um light tasting you definitely taste the dandelion a bit but you definitely because i did put this apple cider vinegar so that it get got got it going oh my gosh guys you can definitely taste the fermenting part like almost like bubbliness in it and that is what is exceptional for your gut health so make your organic true organic not to say that brag isn't but they you know the different products out there you could say organic may not be just say it's my opinion but make your organic cider vinegar start making it today if you have some old carrot peels um make it out of anything it's made out of anything it's so exciting you can even make it out of pear pieces yes or banana peels oh i'm getting excited and emotional just thinking that <laughs> click like and subscribe hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos of me being silly sometimes being informative such as teaching you how to make your own organic cider vinegar and or sometimes i'll be sitting and having a mukbang with you remember to share because sharing is caring we want to get it out there that i'm the girl who likes to show her uvula before and after she eats so watch the heading because if you see a tongue in it it's be sure you'll see my mouth open so with that i will see you in my next video